back to third of Kung with me, Rishi. Today we are going to start on uh, coding the Kung. Uh, sorry, we're going to start on our log system. Yeah, today is day 24. Let's start. Um, let's first of all head into our or we can just create a new project for this or you can use your same project that you're using home page or whatever you're going to use um, or however you want to do this but essentially in this project I'm going to call it login system I'm also just going to hit this button so that it loads my up it doesn't do that right now but um I also want to load up my project in a new tab so that we can just do login system and boom now we have our file opened up we can minimize this actually we'll leave it up we need this for now first thing I want to do is I want to add into here a nav bar and in this nav bar I am going to be um, well, I'm gonna be hitting database over here first to oh to make this system. I'm gonna hit authentication, and I'm gonna select this project because this is the project that I want to use. So, login system. Hit create code, and now we can either do this in HTML or in JavaScript. I'm going to start though in HTML. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to. So this is um, the signed in page. Like whenever you're signed in, you can see this stuff, right? But what I want to do to begin with is I'm going to um, start by making two buttons in here. I'm going to do a button, give it log in, and button two, call sign up. And then I'm going to say main, so the main page tag, and I'm just going to say, um, I'm going to give a div, I'm going to give this div an ID, uh, call it center screen. Then here I'm going to um, start by doing a uh, sorry a just a h1 basic like this is just what your main screen is going to say so I'll show you this in a second I just wanted to say 30 days of kum login and my p tag is going to say demo of login system and actually i'm going to change up a little i'm going to do log on because uh, i don't want to be regular i guess and now you can see that i have my log on sign up and i have my uh, main text here simple now next in rhythm head into my styles.css i am going to do body I'm going to first find the image online. So say I want for this demo, I want Coom. So I can just type in Coom. We got this .io. Do images and find whatever image you want. But I think I'm going to be using this one here. So I will save this image as Coom BG. And then I'll go back into here, upload a file, kumbg, and now it's here. So now I can just say background image URL, and then do dot slash kumbg dot png. And let's close this tab here 
and reload this page okay so now we see that it has done it but it has done it way too many times so I don't want it to be like this what I'll do is I will do um, background repeat none and a few more tabs which we can just look onto our modals for um, so we can just go into our main website here so uh, inspect element and then look into our buttons here so in our not in this section I want to look into our product section look into our table T body TR TD you can tap here it'll pull up you can just tap here pull the CSS right next to it and we can see what we're looking for so I want to look for background position and background size so first thing is background position is center center and background size is uh, cover and it turns out that I was wrong it should it's not no it's not none it's no repeat um, now we can reload the page and it looks a little weird looks a little wonky but we can easily fix that just by doing um, I believe it's uh, let's see what do we do background let's see uh, they have a nice tutorial on this it is wizard creator So these are his tags so this image was enlarged let's see how we did this we can just tap main here background image background position 50 50 so 50 percent 50 percent that doesn't fix anything background size cover oh uh, you can fit just quickly do that this shouldn't have any effect in it but yeah it's good to make sure you don't do that stuff um, Let's just actually do what he did here. We can just, you know, copy. Just tap here. Style the CSS 46. Let's just actually copy all of this so we can just do. Uh, so this is the code that we are going to be using. If you don't know how to get this, you can just uh, go to this website. I'll put it in the description maybe, and then I will. Then you can just clone it. Uh, there's like if I click here and I do edit up oh, that's not right if I do edit you see that I get a I get a clone button in the bottom here it'll make a project of it for me okay And then we 
we can go up here, change this image to whoever we want it to be. For me, it is Kum BG. Hit this auto format. Reload the page a couple times. Uh, it's a PNG, not a JPG. All right, and then here we have our new background. Still doesn't look entirely right, but that is fine. It's not correctly sized. Um, I think you can just do background, repeat, uh, no repeat, and you should fix that. If it doesn't, just don't worry about it. Yeah, it doesn't fix it. That's okay. It's still go back. Just to keep this here. It'll come handy later. But um, his are A's, so we can just actually do this. Um, first thing, what he did is, a, is the, the person who created that hit new file, and he created a few more files. He did login.html. He could, he did sign up. .html and log out dot html I'm gonna just fix the login and actually don't even need this switch these to a tags on each of these put a href copy and paste it and in here you want to do log in or first you want to do whatever you name the sign up and login file so sign up and login don't put the h the dot html that is implied and sign up like so now copy this go into your login paste it in go into your logout paste it or not logout this is your signed in page so i'm going to rename this file to main and this main actually it'll just simply be the fee, the this account the HTML page right so you can just really though just do this and I'm going to change the main tag here to be called a account .html so like so and Yeah, simple. Um, and then we can do so an index. Same thing. Index we kept login to HTML. We need to do this and sign up HTML and do the same thing. Uh, nope, not like this. Sorry, that is wrong. You can just go to here, you can copy this, go back into our login page, go back into our sign up page, reload this, hit login, it'll take us to our login page, hit sign up, it'll take us to our sign up page, but now the issue is that it'll still say sign up but still say login. So now what I want to do is we want to uh, head into our sign up page and here we only want to have we want we want to put login back where it is we also want to put a back to home and this is just going to go to index and in our login same thing except we want to keep the sign up and we want to add in over here back to home and change this to index um, and just to make sure that you know that it that it's working you can switch these names you can say login switch this sign up page to sign up and yes so now we can reload this page and as you can see I'm currently in the sign up page so if I go back to home I now have sign up and login. I'm going to hit login. Now I can sign up or go back to home. You can hit sign up and go back to home or login. If this looks bad, you can fix the formatting as we will do in the next video. Thank you for watching.
this was Coombe, 30 is a Coombe, day 24.